Well, we're here at Gatorland. You might wonder why a photographer would come here, but there's a bird rookery here. Got this one, and there's one in St. Augustine, the alligator farm. Great place to come in for birds, say, between early March and maybe into early May. Photographers could actually pay to get in here early at 7 a.m., I think between the 1st of March and the end of April. Right. Also used to be able to come in the evening, but because of the COVID right now, they're not doing that, so they clean the park up. And of course, the secret spot that you want to come to when you get here to be able to see the rookery up close and personal is the gator breeding marsh, yep. which is a area set aside. There's gators everywhere. Of course, you can feed them, which you might get some interesting yeah, shots. Yeah, there's things there for non-photographers, zip lines, right. there's a train, right. there's feeding, there's but the other animals too. But the rookeries will be very active and and many of them at eye level. Also, there's some air towers that you can climb up so you can get a overview. down shot overview yeah. of the, the birds and the different uh, animals that might be around here. So it's pretty cool. So, so a place you might not actually think of, but it would be something that the whole family could enjoy photographers and non-photographers alike, right? There you go. So. Gatorland in Kissimmee.
All right. Well, there you have it. You might not consider Gatorland as a potential place. I probably wouldn't have either. Yeah. And we did talk about the fact that you can get in early as a photographer before the rest of the crowds are there. We decided not to try to hit it that early, but we were one of the first ones in, so the place was relatively empty. And we went directly to where they have the uh, marsh uh, gator breeding area. And just follow the boardwalk and go yeah. out to the Marsh of the Lake, and that's where the uh, rookery is. There's another one, too, that you might not consider. Right. That's in St. Augustine, and that's the alligator farm in St. Augustine. Smaller and, overall, but. Yeah, it doesn't have all the other. It doesn't have the train, it doesn't have the zip lines and all that, but the rookery is bigger and it's closer to the boardwalk right and they also allow early and i believe late entry or at least the uh oh for the stock first right yeah i know right now gatorland is only doing the early morning it's not doing the uh the afternoon because they're saying that they want to make sure that the park is all clean and everything because because it is a tourist attraction there's hands going, especially little kids, hands and people and whatever, every place. Yep. When we were leaving, the place was really starting to jump, and it was getting um, pretty active. A, lot, a fair amount of people were coming in. It's an interesting one. If you've never been to Florida, it's an interesting place that you're guaranteed to see gators. And the same thing oh, is going to yeah. happen up at the the, the uh, St. Augustine, St. Augustine at, Gator at Farm, Denver. because you're right up close and personal uh, and can see quite a bit. And if you're interested and in getting in early or staying after hours, assuming they still do on that, any of those, yeah, check out their website. Right, go to either website. They have the special set up. They tell you it's certain calendar dates. It's not every day, mm-hmm. and you have to prearrange that. But it can be well worth it. Uh, the other advice I would say, if you don't want to take advantage of that, get in when gates open, mm-hmm. and you'll yeah, still have when it starts. yeah, because it'll be relatively. Uh, okay. Small as far as and finally folks being there, not a, not a big crowd yet. Time and of finally, year, you want to be there in the spring when the birds are oh, of coming in and uh, nesting. Nesting. So if you're there in midsummer, God help you because it's going to be hot and yeah. humid. <laughs> I will say this: the middle of the state is probably the hottest area in in Florida yep. because uh, here we have a gulf on one side and a bay on another, and it keeps this little peninsula that we live on within a bigger yeah, peninsula St. Augustine's like much that. cooler Orlando, St. Augustine not so much is on the water but Orlando yeah. even with the lakes and uh, wetland areas is just hotter yeah uh, interesting thing to note and it also the pop-up storms are much more numerous during the summer yeah. we've both been caught in some hectic weather up in that area and you just that's where you pull over and find a nice place to just hang out or sit in your car safely as best you can because it gets very a lot of lightning uh, heavy rains Mm. even occasional hail which you would think is unusual for Florida (laughs) so anyway we want you to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss any because Fred and I plan to bring some other spots in Florida and maybe other locations as well like we had just outside East Coast mm -hmm. just outside of um, yeah uh, Florida will will be looking at other places, but listen, folks, yep. look around in your own backyard for those hidden gems and the ones that you go past every day and go, oh, I don't know, I don't know if that'd be any good. And if you got something in your area, let yeah. us know. Tell us about it. We'd love to feature them if we ever have the chance. So, okay.